Bungie has revealed the name and the main character of the upcoming season 15 ahead of the reveal stream scheduled for the 24th of August 2021. We did get a heads up about this earlier given a pretty big leak from the company Razor with Marasov splashed all over banner ads which also include the name The Season of the Lost. Well today I'm going to have a look at what this means for season 15 plus give a quick recap of Marasov in Destiny. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. Well, it looks like some banner ads went live a little early yesterday, revealing the name of Season 15, plus revealing its lead character. And Bungie then confirmed the leaks by tweeting the Queen returns in Season of the Lost, alongside an image of Marasov with Osiris. So that is particularly interesting, given what's been going on with Osiris this season. Well, Season 15 is going to be called Season of the Lost, and it features a returning Marasov as the lead character. So Marasov is the Queen of the Awoken and has famously taken the fight to the Hive before, featuring heavily throughout the original Destiny, in particular waging war against the Taken King, Oryx. Well, it looks like we're going to be assembling a team of powerful allies to take on Savathun in the upcoming Witch Queen expansion. And we've got a truce currently with the Cabal through Keitel, Mithrax and the Splicer Elixni, and also now we've got returning Marasov. And we're likely going to need an expert team too, because Savathun is unlike any other enemy we've battled before. And rather than use force, she's the master of deception. Well, let's have a quick look back at the timeline and Mara's influence in Destiny. So first of all, looking back at the Taken King. So Marasov met Oryx's fleet when he arrived in the solar system with his Taken army. And Mara was defeated after Oryx fired the Dreadnought's weapon on the battlefield. So Oryx took out most of his own fleet, plus the Awoken ships too and then Marasov disappeared. Thought to be dead, but it turned out this was only a distraction. This was part of a secret plan by Mara and Eris Morn, forcing Oryx's armies back and allowing room for the Guardian to take on and ultimately defeat the Taken King. Well, Mara's body was vaporised in the attack and most of her ship too, but her consciousness was able to survive in a manner similar to that of Toland, a soul with no material form. So fast forward to Forsaken, so with Morosov gone, Petra did her best to maintain order in the reef, however, the reef fell into chaos. Aldrin Sov, Mara's brother, then betrayed the reef during the Forsaken campaign, leading to a breakout of the Prison of the Elders, and then ultimately leading to the death of Cade Six. And the Guardian then sought to find and bring justice to Cade Six's killer. One of the main motivating factors of Aldrin's mission was to find Mara, and he believed that she was talking to him through visions and was trapped in the Dreaming City. Aldrin was told he required a combination of light and darkness to free Mara, and then when he reached his goal he thought he was about to free her, it morphed into the form of the Taken Chimeric Servitor creature, the Voice of Riven. Well, the Guardian killed this creature at the end of the Forsaken campaign, and Aldrin was then killed, either by the Guardian or Petrovenge. Well, over the course of Forsaken, the Guardian worked with Petra to communicate with Mara as the weeks went by via the Oracle engine. And Marasov instructed Petra to rip the heart out of Riven, which ultimately led us to the Last Wish raid. After weeks of charging the Blind Well, we then opened up a portal to Mara's throne world so we could talk to her face to face. And she understood the circumstances of Aldrin's death, but didn't hold a grudge, and she did however have a warning that the darkness are making their way towards the solar system, and this was one of the earliest sightings of the pyramids in the game. Well next up we've got the curse of the dreaming city, so while the Taken Riven baited the guardians into killing her, they inadvertently made a single collective wish, allowing Riven to alter the rules of ascendancy within the dreaming city. Well, soon enough, the entire realm was plunged into an unending battle between the Guardians, the Awoken Corsairs against the armies of Taken, and Hive sent by Savathun and Zivu Arath. Well, as the curse continued to blight the Dreaming City for three weeks, Petra was able to identify the true source of the city's Taken curse, Dull Inkaru, a daughter of the Witch Queen. So with the curse now at its peak, the Tekians used the Blind Well, which was kept charged with light by the Guardians, and opened up a rift where the Guardians could confront the Witch and her Dark Blade bodyguards. So upon the death of Dull Inkaru in the dungeon, the Dreaming City reverted back to the state it was in when the curse was first unleashed, and the curse then spread in the same manner as it had previously, with it being revealed that the curse trapped the Dreaming City within a time loop that resets at the events of Riven's death and Dull Inkaru's defeat. Though messages left by an unknown sender revealed that the loop was made possible through the wish Riven granted upon her death, 
and was modelled upon the VEX simulation overseen by the taken VEX mine courier. So while the curse was looping every three weeks, there was currently no way to permanently rid the city of the curse, despite the efforts of both Rasputin and Osiris. So following every reset, the Guardian made reports to Marasov, using the Oracle engine, occasionally visiting her personally within her new throne world. So then we proceeded to have conversations with Marasov each week. So upon the Guardian's fourth visit, Mara immediately demanded to know how her brother had died. So the ghost claimed that he died believing he was freeing Mara from the Dreaming City and that all he had done was for her. So Mara did know that despite her brother's strengths, he was suggestible and she'd been aware that her plan would put him at risk of such a fate and thus was not surprised to feel him die. The ghost reminded Mara that Aldrin had murdered their friend Cade Six, so she was actually quite dismissive of this, noting that while she's sure they missed it, she was not satisfied by their quest for vengeance. So upon the Guardian's seventh visit, Mara states she dreamed of having a friend, and then states that the next act is about to begin before disappearing completely. But then following the disappearance of Mars, Mercury, Titan and Io, Marasov broadcast a message at the beginning of Beyond Light throughout the system, and in that message she stated she deployed all weapons at her disposal against the Black Fleet, and it had no effect. She then promised to return to the Dreaming City, though she was aware that Savathun would be waiting for her. Well that brings us right up to date, so now we know that Marasov is coming back, it does have major implications for the story in Season 15. So given Courier is dead, you would assume that the curse hanging over the Dreaming City could now be broken. Well, Savathun is definitely not going to be happy about Mara's return, plus are we going to assemble any more powerful allies in the fight against the Hive? Well, Eris Morn certainly comes to mind, as does Rasputin too. Well, the good news is we don't have long to wait to find out what this is all about. Thanks to the leak and also that official reveal by Bungie, we know Marasov is coming back and also the season is going to be called Season of the Lost. Well, Marasov was lost until now, but I wonder what else that could be referring to. You know, there's plenty to be excited about. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think about Marasov coming back. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.